Hello everyone, Dr. Maddie here, and I'd like to welcome you to another lesson. As you may have already heard, virtual reality or VR and augmented reality or AR have been um, two of the uh, big market trends over the five to six years. You may also um, use some of these technologies like when playing games with those special headsets. VR and AR are also very important in robotics. They found their way into the robotics world from um, rehabilitation robotics to autonomous vehicles to military robots. Due to their significance in robotics, Mechorhythm has decided to provide free tutorials on VR and AR for our readers and viewers. I'm delighted to announce that we partnered with the great and talented AR and VR expert, Abul Tanha, for these lessons. This lesson is the first lesson on the series of lessons on VR and AR, focusing on the applications and robotics. You can see all the lessons under the playlist VR and AR. Remember that more lessons will be added in the future. So without further ado, let's learn about a virtual reality with Abol Fast. What is the virtual reality? As you know, in the FPS games, we can see the view of the cameras above of the character's head, and we can rotate these cameras by mouse, but it makes our hands busy. What we can do? We need to have a system to detect the rotation of our head and align it with the cameras of character. The name of this technology is gyroscope. The base of VR is detecting the rotation by gyroscope. Initially, we have to simulate the human eyes for game character. So, we have to add two cameras above of the character and as a left camera and right camera. Eventually, we will have a view exactly like the humans with right and left view. Because the screen is very close to our eyes, so we cannot see the view very clearly. And also, it is dangerous for our eyes as well. So, we will use two lenses for each eyes to fix this problem. These lenses will work as a one stroscope for us and fix the overlapping problem. So, in consequences, we will see the normal view for our VR application. For making a VR project, we need to have a game engine. In here you can see two popular game engines for making VR. However, they are not the same. The Unity is much more easier than Unreal and in this clip we want to talk about how we can implement a VR project in Unity. As a first step, you need to install the Unity Hub and you can download it from the Unity website and install on your PC or Mac. After install the Unity Hub on your computer, you need to open it and go to the installs and click on add buttons. In the list of the Unity versions, you need to click on the newest version of Unity and click on next. In this new page, you can see the list of features which you can install on your computer and you need to check on Android build support and iOS build support. Basically, we can implement our VR project for mobile phone and put the mobile inside of the VR headset. Or implement it for all one headsets such as Oculus Quest 1 or 2. And the final solution is implement the VR project as an EXE game for computer and run it on headsets for computers. 
For each solution, you need to install a specific VR implementation SDK on your game engine. For example, if you want to make it for mobile phone, you need to install the Google Cardboard. Or if you want to implement it for Oculus Quest, you need to install the OVR on your game engine. Or if you want to make it for computer, you need to install a specific SDKs for making a VR game for computers. Now let's talk about the three solutions for implementing the VR game for mobile phone. As we mentioned before, if we want to implement the VR project, we have to put the camera above of the character's head. So if you want to use a specific VR SDK, all of these SDKs have a system for implementing the VR head and you can use it and put it on your head's character. The second solution is you need to scripting a system which has an ability to read the current angles from the gyroscope of mobile phone and align these angles on the camera above of the character's head. The third solution is you can recognize the rotation of device with image processing. With this technology, you can use the device camera and try to detect the ground, then you can detect the rotation of camera and align it with the camera above of the character's head. With this technology, you don't need to use the gyroscope of the mobile phone. Now you can make an environment for your VR scene and put your VR character into the scene and finally you can export an APK or iOS application for your mobile phone and test it in real time. In consequences we can say virtual reality is a big revolution in technology and we can make several type of games and simulators with this technology. So we can do any actions but with the new technologies such as hand tracking, physical walk, voice detection and other solutions, we can make it better and better. Thanks everyone for watching. Let us know how we did and what questions you have. We also love to have you as part of the Macrodome family. See you in the next lesson. Bye.